Hello again, folks. Jay Bird and Molly here. Uh, this is a follow-up video on the utility trailer. So, uh, the first video, which we'll put a link in the bottom, the first video we, uh, uh, Molly mainly, Molly uh, stripped all the rust off for the best job we could with the products that we had. So today it's all about finishing, which means painting. So we've got a tarp out and Molly's taping it up. Let's go check what Molly's doing. I'm busy. <laughs> what do you want? You want to roll a tape? It fell down there. It's camouflaged with the blue tarp. Talking about this blue tape? Yes. You know how painting is all about prep work before you paint, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing. And you're not helping. <laughs> how about that? I'm helping. I'm giving you inspiration here. Do a good job. Well, is that good? Is considering that, that this looks like a piece of crap to begin with, it's not going to hurt it, but it's not going to look new. It'll look a lot better. Well, put some paint on it. It's not going to look any worse. I can tell you that. Okay, so what you doing here? You taping it off like you? I'm taping around the edges, so because I'm gonna put this plastic down, but you know how plastic moves. So if I don't tape around the edges, then it's likely that I'm gonna get paint everywhere, and it's not gonna do very well. So okay, I am being cautious and also taping around the edges, and then I'll take the plastic down after I've taped around the edges. And the plan is, I got to tape it on the outside too, you know, around the tires and the lights. And then I'm gonna start inside and spray out. And then, so I'll do go, the outside, then the inside. Yeah, so I'm gonna do inside and I'll spray out. Okay, as long as you don't paint yourself into a corner. <clears throat> yeah, well, the reason I'm coming inside to paint out first I'm just is so when I spray in, there's going to be paint everywhere in here, right? Right. So I'm not stepping in paint. Yep, that, that, exactly what I'm saying. See, right. I've thought this through. Smart lady. Okay. Okay, so we will check back in and take some action shots as this goes along. See y'all later. Okay, we're back. And Molly is painting. Okay. How's it look? I can. Where have you painted? I painted like in this corner here. Um, it almost looks bronze. It doesn't look black. But it's taking a lot of paint to cover it. And it's going to need a couple of layers. And it's very hot, and I'm not sure the sun's helping it. So, um, I think we're going to go through a lot of cans of paint, and it's going to be very time consuming. And it's taking a lot of paint to cover it up. It's going to look better, but um, it's just going to take a lot of paint, and the sun's not probably helping it, probably baking it. Um, Definitely hot out here. It's... But it looks almost like bronze, it doesn't really look black, I don't think. But... Anyway, um, you know, I mean, you can still see rust, but you can see where the rust spots were. It's, it would have been better if you just sanded it down, but we're not going for the perfect look. You can see we put some twist ties here, maybe. Yeah, we need to take a welding class. Redneck ingenuity strikes again. Um, yeah, maybe someday. Welding? Ooh. Yep. Welding. Welding's next. I'll but, take it if you take it. Or um, you can take the class and teach me. How about that? 
Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be black before it's over with. Okay. I might need some goggles. I might have black eyes. Hmm. Because it's blowing. So. Your crepe myrtle's doing good. Wow. Yep. That bush is a healthy bush right there. It was a little baby at one time. That was like. It was yeah. like. It was like that one over there in the middle of there. See, that's a crepe. Where? In the middle of those flowers. Oh. So you're saying it used to be like that bush. Yeah, it was probably smaller than that. Smaller. And how long did it take to grow it like that? A year? Um, no. Two years? Yeah, a couple of years. Before? After? It's a pretty good spot for a bush. Now this lawn is not as nice as the Richmond lawn. This lawn is also Kentucky 31 tall fescue, but lots of weeds and I, uh, I do fertilize, but I have not put malorganite. I've used weed and feed and uh, the lawn care nut, Alan Hayden would scold me for that, but that, that lawn was covered with weeds. So that's another video, another day. All right, we're going to check back in with your progress later. Okay, I'll probably have to run this store and get some more paint. Okay. And some more ties. And uh, something to bang the side out. Going. It's still going. Been okay. at it for a while. Well, I went to the store. Got some more paint. Now I'm back. I just started again. So I'm fetching up in, in here before I go on the outside. So I really haven't done that much since it been gone. Yeah. Look at that form. She's obviously a professional. You're so funny. I'm getting tired of shaking this can though. Mm. 